Good morning, Holy Spirit, and may the morning dew bring to you showers of blessings. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Among the many New Year's resolutions we did as prayers, perhaps the first and greatest resolution that we make and must keep is love God with all you have and are, and then do what you will. Jesus put it in this way in Matthew chapter 22, verse 37 to 38. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the first and great commandment. Our love for God is demonstrated by our obedience to God's commands. And such obedience is rewarded by blessings. Love and do what you will begins with how to become upright in your lifestyle, having a God-directed daily living through daily meditation on scriptures, plus prayers of faith, taking possession of your God-ordained blessings by faith in the Lord and His unfailing promises. Abiding in holiness and righteousness through obedience, understanding, and loss of sowing and reaping. You reap what you sow. You reap more than you sow. And you reap in a different season so as to reach your destiny in life. This sets your expectations higher, perhaps higher than ever before for the kind of life you want to live for Christ this year of 2023, deepening your relationship with Christ and committing to serving him for the rest of your life in this world. We must plan for it to happen and also the strength to overcome. Friends, there is no end to the many ways of becoming strong. Food supplement, workout, personal trainers, discipline in training. What you won't find in advertisement for gaining strength is 
a recommendation for memorizing and meditating on the word of God. Scripture would necessarily make you physically stronger, but it will make you stronger in the most important of ways, spiritually overcoming the wicked one. Satan not only put obstacles in our path to believing in Christ, he puts temptations in our path to keep us from following Christ. And that is where the word of God comes in to counteract Satan's lies and counterfeit as his chief weapon. The word of truth gives us victory over him, just as Christ defeated Satan's temptations in the wilderness with the word of God. Matthew chapter 4 verse 1 to 4 attest to this. So we can. But only if the word abides in you. Beloved, for the word to abide in us, we must put it there by reading, meditating, memorizing, and studying it. That is how we become spiritually strong and what we can expect from God as we set our sights on being the best. Aim your expectations higher this new year for the best life. Stay blessed and good morning. Bye. Thank you.